This video will cover the following topics on the announcer's console. Component layout, power and signal connection, and component operation. Let's start by removing the top cover and setting it aside. The system has been designed so that it can be operated without having to take it out of the bottom cover. It can be removed if the need arises, but we will leave it inside the bottom cover for this video. There is a rear storage compartment that houses all necessary accessories for the system. Next to that, you will find an I.O. panel, which allows for easy external connections of the audio output, two microphone level inputs, and the connection point for wireless microphone antennas. There is screen printing on the top of the housing that can be used as a quick reference for system setup and control identification. On the front panel, you will find the sound system on-off switch, an optional wireless microphone receiver, a four-channel mixer, and the announcer's interface. The announcer's interface can be taken out of the case and placed up to three feet away if desired. Now that we have covered the components of your system, let's connect it. Verify the sound system switch is in the off position and that all five knobs on the mixer are all the way to the left. Find the power cord located in the rear storage compartment. Towards the left hand side of the housing there is a punch out which can be used to route the power cable through. Plug the announcer's console into any available outlet. At this point you will have power to your components. You can verify this by looking for the green LED located above the master volume knob on the mixer or by checking the LCD on the optional wireless receiver if installed. The next thing we will want to do is find the XLR cable and connect it between the audio out jack on the I.O. panel of the announcer's console and the system audio jack on the bottom of the fiber conversion box. If your system doesn't have the fiber conversion box this cable will typically connect to a three pin female XLR junction box. The final step is to turn the sound system switch to the on position. The sound system switch allows you to toggle the audio signal leaving the announcer's console on and off. 